Well, no mucking around. We're about to go green with the first race of the night. Set for a dispatch with uh, two of the big hitters in West Australian or in Australian Speedway, Kai Blight and Barry Rose on the front row. Good evening to you. We're about to kick off. Green lights come on and away we run. Down into turn number one. Barry Rose on the outside of the West Australian champion and Kai Blight back into Lockie Easton in third. Kelsey Beard and uh, Angus Bott further back the 22 car of Jamie Graham and the car at the back of the field, Brandon Smith is making a lot of noise. Out of turn four, it's a race in two. The West Australian champion, Kai Blight and Barry Rose going at it in a big way. In fact, Barry Rose has just gone in a big way. Mucked up turn number one and has lost a lot of ground. Eason in third, back to Kelsey Beard in fourth. Further back in the field after that would be Angus Bott and <laughs> Jamie Graham. And Morgan, if you can hear me, Brandon Smith is the next car running. Just can hear you as Blight has sailed away from Barry Rose after that mistake from the 181 to leave him three and a half seconds ahead of the former West Australian champion, the 2018 champion that won it at this venue as Angus Bott has gone around right in front of the bar and has nudged it face first up against the wall. Lachlan Eason did spin trying to avoid and the yellows have come on as he will have to reverse from there. That was facing straight up against the concrete wall for the fans there in turn number one. Good crowd already on hand tonight for the opening round of the ODH Mechanical North South Shootout. It is the Street Stock Coal Miner. As it is coming later on into the year, the sun is already covering, well, 95% of the track, only a small bit in Cardinals in turns number one and two. Still under the sunlight, but we've got a, a ratchet holding the window so we can open up and check out turns three and four as Blight, Rose and Kelsey Bid get us back underway with six laps remaining. A mistake out of turn number one for Barry Rose. We'll see Kyle Blight just skip away with the race lead as Bid is in with a chance with coming with a surprise is this one. She's right behind Barry Rose as the leaders haven't been able to escape away from the KJB Fabrication Holden Commodore. Angus Bott's already been able to pick up a position as he gets by Lachlan Eatson for fourth place as they're about to put a lap down on Brendan Smith. His first ever race in speedway for Brendan Smith in the 43. But it's all blight from Rose and Kelsey Beard halfway done. Yes, the uh, Smith car, Brandon Smith, formerly George Lanoue, the Canadian. The veteran driver from Ellenbrook has handed over the reins. Out in front, Kai Blight is your race leader from Barry Rose. Third place, Kelsey Beard. Angus Bott a long way back in fourth place. So our leader comes into the main straight with three to run. There's the margin first to second, second to third. 1.7 back to uh, Barry Rose and the same margin back to Kelsey Beard. Angus Spot starting to have some smoke of mint from the back end of the 96. But Kai Blight leads out of turn number four. Barry Rose in second, Kelsey Beard third. And we've got two laps to go. Yeah, two more remaining. It's gone quite docile throughout this event. Blight has been able to hold on to a race lead, but it is Barry Rose the quickest out on track at the moment. The smoke from Bott is getting thicker. And that does not smell good at all. Definitely sounds like a power plant for the 96 machine as he rolls in P number four, but the smoke is getting thicker and thicker. As your lead three have greeted the white flag, one to go as they go past Brendan Smith in the 43. And the checkered flag is at the ready for your ranks winner. It will be your state champion, Kai Blight, with a brand new look this weekend, taking the win. Rose home in second. Kelsey Beard has oh, hit the no. wall hard. Oh, we thought she was going to be a surprise in that one as the yellows have come on. Angus Bott now will be recorded it uh, won't be a push, <laughs> as well. It won't be a push car for Kelsey Beard. That's a tow truck job. Yeah, definitely will be as there is some wheels facing in the wrong direction. The right front is facing to the right. The left front is facing towards the left, and that would say... A non-finish for Kelsey Beard as the crash crew very quickly working their way 
to the injured 57. But it will be Blight, Rose and Bot now, your top three. Lachlan Eason, Brendan Smith and Kelsey Beard. Jamie Graham only completing the two laps. So that is our production sedans completed.